Hi, I'm Keith Reed, editor of National Petroleum News. Hi, I'm Patrick Gettler, product manager for Ovation for Wayne and Energy Company. Uh, one of the highlights of the NAC Show 2013 was the launch of the Ovation 2 dispenser. Patrick, why don't you tell us about some of the uh, technology that's in the new dispenser? Certainly, we've upgraded our current Ovation design to the new Ovation 2 platform. We've changed several components. Starting at the top, we've upgraded to a new balance design. Um, it allows for 25% more braining area. Along with that, the change in the bezel construction allows now for a new color scheme, which you can have two-tone grain standard available now. Um, on the bezel, we've moved some of the components to the inside, particularly the uh, card reader and the SPM keypad, which allows for more private interaction with the payment order from the customers. In addition to that, we've brought the Helix favorite displays to the Ovation, the, the white and black, which provide a very crisp and clean grain image and a very uh, recognized movement across the board. What's the reception been like so far? The reception has been fantastic. Uh, the Ovation Spencer has been a customer favorite since its inception uh, 10 years ago. And now with the upgrade and improved features, the trend's going to continue. People have been very positive on their feedback to the new design changes product manager for payment solutions here at Wayne. We're going to talk a little bit about some of uh, Wayne's mobile payment solutions and talk a little bit also about mobile payment in general. Uh, Tim, uh, you know, we've been hearing about mobile payment for a while now, probably a decade, you know, the buzzes went out. There was RFID that was going to be put in the back of phones maybe to facilitate it. And now I think with the smartphone phone era and that, we're starting to see you know, some, a lot more applicability of that. What would you say is the state of mobile payment in the United States today. You know, I think we're still really in the early stages. Um, you know, even though contactless payments is an alternate form, it's been around for some time, I think the real traction is starting to be gained with the incorporation of loyalty programs and customer relationships on top of just being an alternate way to pay. And, uh, Tom, tell us a little bit about uh, Wayne Solution. I know you guys are working with uh, ISIS Mobile Wallet. Yeah, we've got the Wayne Tap Solution. It's Wayne's contactless and NFC reader built into our dispensers. It goes right on top of the IX Secure Pay platform. Uh, and, and ISIS is uh, one of our partners who works in uh, the NFC space with their mobile wallet. So we're enabling not only Max Stripe and EMD contactless, but also the ISIS Mobile Wallet program. And uh, you know, how would you uh, typically facilitate a payment? Well, you know, the payment is really straightforward and simple. Uh, you do the, you open the mobile wallet on your phone, the ISIS mobile wallet, and then you tap it on the reader to initiate the payment transaction, and it goes from that point just like a regular Max Drive credit card. And uh, I guess final question is, uh, you know, when are when are we all going to be able to, or actually, when are we going to? Of by choice or preference, uh, use this technology to pay instead of swiping your card? You know, that's really the magic question. It's hard to say how long it'll take. If I pull out my crystal ball, I think it may still be a few more years. Uh, being in the early stages, there's a lot of different mobile wallet providers coming out of the woodwork, different retailers looking at different ways to differentiate their sites. Uh, so I think we're still in the early stage, but a few years from now, we'll probably all have one of these in our wallets. I'm Kent Robinson, the product manager at Wayne G Energy Business for the, uh, the CNG dispensers. The, uh, one of the, the key features of the Wayne GE uh, uh, CNG dispenser is that we use a, a non-purge cabinet. So um, a lot of the, in our industry, in order to use a payment terminal to make this experience as much like a retail uh, petroleum dispenser as possible, we put in a, a payment terminal, the same payment terminals we have in petroleum dispensers. But in order to do that, um, it has to be able to be put and be safe to put in this uh, CNG environment. So instead of uh, our competition, they flood this space with air in order to be able to do it. Uh, Wayne instead has a patent pending design where we isolate the cabinet that allows us to safely put the, the payment terminal uh, in the uh, dispenser head. What does that mean? Well, when you're flooding this, the head with uh, air, you're also bringing in temperature, hot, cold air. You're bringing in moisture, dirt, all the things that are enemies of electronics. Um, with the Wayne design, we do not do it. It's simple, it's reliable, easily maintainable. Um, the other features, the same exact payment terminals that are in Wayne Petroleum Dispenser, so they get the advantage of all Wayne's experience there. Um, PCI compliant, EMV compliant options that are available. 
a simple display um, on a filling up a CNG vehicle. You have to wait until the vehicle's full. Uh, full. What we do is we give a simple LED display that will read quarter, half full when they're done. And to make it really simple, when it's done, it, print, it actually shows end in the unit price display, just like your microwave. So it can't be any simpler than that that informs you of a user. We're available in single and dual models. Um, and overall, you can see it has that same look as a petroleum dispenser, and that's part of the big push in the U.S. In order to get this adopted, they want to make it the same look and feel so that a consumer is very um, um, used to the, uh, the operation of the dispenser. The next thing we're going to look at is the Helix dispenser. I'm here with Annika Berkler. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, this offering? I know it's available both domestically, but you have some uh, new developments for foreign markets as well. So what we are displaying at Max this year, it's of course the entire Helix product family. Uh, we are one year after our successful launch last year, uh, and since then we have had some new additions to the family. So uh, in addition to the typical North uh, America configurations that you see in our Helix 2000, Helix 4000 and 5000, we are now also introducing a Helix 1000. And the main target for this product is markets outside the U.S., uh, typically what we want to call growth markets, South America, Middle East, and Africa, Asia. So this new model is, you can call it a, a stripped-down version of our Helix 2000. Uh, it includes the basic function and features. Uh, it's a power force, it's a workforce for stations that are looking for a smaller, more compact unit uh, doing the, the core fueling job. Right? So it's a very basic package, but it's got a lot of technology and then a very clean appearance. So I'm sure it helps with the branding efforts of uh, stations that want to want to have the same appearance they would if they were, uh, you know, really a, a more upscale location than a, you know, a different yeah. location. Absolutely. In this model, you will still find find what Wayne stands for, uh, the high quality uh, technologies such as our eye meter, the eye gem, uh, technologies that you will find in all the Helix dispensers, and also you have the design DNA in the exterior as well. So it's a, a true member of the of the family. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Keith.